we managed to pick up 45 items in four hours at four thrift stores for a total of $220. What's going on everybody? My name is Ari on Instagram and on YouTube as Nothing New Thrifts. I am a full-time eBay reseller and I just wanted to share with you guys our latest haul. We went thrifting earlier this week. We hit four thrift stores. Um, we spent four hours out there hunting. We picked up a total of 45 items and we spent a total of $220. Um, actually a really, really good day overall. A lot of bread and butter items, some like high-end bread and butter items, and a really and a couple of really nice items. So yeah, let's get right to it. We picked up a nice stack of t-shirts, so I think we can start with that. First, uh, first shirt we picked up here, uh, new with tags, only reason we picked it up, Tommy Bahama's not, uh, nothing crazy, but yeah, again, new with tags, I think we paid $2.99 for it, should be able to get 20 bucks for that. This one's nice. Vintage, uh, made in USA, undefeated t-shirt, nice graphic on the back, should be able to get 20 bucks for that. Another shirt that, again, nothing crazy, we wouldn't have picked it up, but it was brand new. And I, I love these shirts. They're really, really nice designs, but they don't have a great sell through. This one was cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure what it was. Tag caught my eye. It says Red Sand, flipped it over. Uh, made in USA, 1986, 1994. So yeah, check this one out. I looked it up on eBay and they actually have some shirts that have sold for a hundred dollars. So yeah, vintage tees, uh, red sand tees go from thirty to hundred dollars. So I'm gonna price mine in the middle. This is a nice one, nice gray, really really nice condition, extra large. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a, a pretty hot item. Ooh, how dare I? Almost forgot to mention that red sand tee is a single stitch all the way around. Very nice. Next up, we have this Patagucci Patagonia find. Um, we actually picked up two Patagonia pieces. Um, we found three, we left one. This one was a little like kind of beat from the sun, but I mean, I thought it was kind of cool looking and I don't, uh, I don't think we'll have any problem getting 15 to 20 bucks for that Patagonia shirt. Next item is this mock neck Nike Golf shirt. We actually sold one of these recently. Um, I believe we got like 20 bucks for it. This thing's in really, really nice condition. These, I believe these probably came from the same guy. Or these two for sure. We got three total, but these two right here. Mellow Gang. A little marshmallow action, right? Boom, we got the black. We got the white. Both medium. And, of course, the Logic T. This one's cool. I wish it was a large. But nice shirt overall yeah anyways i think all three of those came from the same dude this one's nothing crazy nice simple carhartt pocket tee i got a buddy that might pick this up it's nice naruto yeah this is like a 2007 or actually this one's not this one's even this one's cool this is a little budin shouten not sure what that is but budin shouten naruto shirt um it's got this sick graphic on the back I looked this one up on eBay. It looks like they sell for like 20 to 30 bucks. This is a really small one, but I mean, there's small people out there. This brand, um, I mean, I'm not sure yet. We just started picking this brand up. I saw my buddy Big Yumbo on YouTube actually just picked this up too. Um, we sold a shirt like the same day it listed from these guys. Another shirt for 15 bucks, nothing crazy, but we see them all the time. So I think I'm gonna start cherry picking and getting some of the nicer ones. This one's actually, Pretty dope. Oh, this one right here. This is this one's already got a buyer. I haven't even shown it to him, but I'm sure I'm sure he's gonna want it. Um, yeah. Boom. Well, let me know if you want me to look out for something for you. All right. So that was it for the shirts. Um, here we have a couple of miscellaneous items. Uh, miscellaneous. We have three pairs of shorts. These like Fox racing shorts. Um, they had a good sell through rate. Uh, I have to look them up again. I don't really remember, but I know they, they were good when I looked them up. These have like a nice like high-tech feel. They got these like nice cuts and pockets. Um, yeah, it should be, you know, 20, 30 bucks on those. These we just found out about recently, but glad to find them again. We sold uh, one of the two pairs we have and the other ones we, we've been getting some offers on it. So it shouldn't be too long before it sells. And then these are cool, simple Ruka shorts. Probably gonna try these on, honestly. 
and we pick this up. It's crazy the amount of new with tags items that we find at thrift stores, man. This is a special edition Pride collection, 2016-2017 um, Levi's hat. Super nice. It's like uh, it's cone, it's cone denim. Yeah, nice and clean. New with tags. That should be a quick $20, $25 flip. All right, let's move on to the sweaters. So sweater sales have been picking up for us. Um, so we've been picking them up a little bit more. Um, we didn't find that many this time. We did we did pick up a handful. This one's nice. Um, they have a really high sell through the Under Armour Notre Dame quarter zip specifically. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to get 20, 30 bucks for this. Closer to the higher end, honestly. College sweaters, boom, we don't get tired of picking them up. I feel like I've been seeing people wearing these like everywhere now since we started picking them up to resell them. Boom, this is the uh, LL Bean. This is nice, man. Hopefully I can get one of my buddies to buy this because this thing is super nice. It's like corduroy long sleeve shirt. Um, yeah, LL Bean doesn't, you know, it's not too, too crazy of a seller, but a corduroy anything is a hot seller for us, honestly, especially these like super nice like button ups. This one actually might be a rare item. Um, this is a really nice pickup we had. Disney Wilderness Lodge. What the heck does that say? All terrain, all terrain exploration, land, landscape with character. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it's a, uh, yeah, made in USA, Disney tag, medium. It's a nice baggy medium. It's like this fleecy, hoodless, double collar sweater. I don't know what you call this. Yeah, this one's cool. But this one was actually my favorite sweater of the day. Um, yeah, man, this might be my favorite piece of the day. Honestly, let me see. Sheesh, look at this thing, man. So, Russell Athletic, made in USA. Um, these usually go for like 30 bucks at least, but look at this graphic. These nice ones go for like a little bit more sometimes. They go for like 50 bucks. Um, little Russell hit there. 1999 Rolls Bowl. I mean, look at that rose. Yeah, super excited about this one. Is that a medium? Sheesh, I wish it was a large. Honestly, I'd probably keep that for a little bit. Super clean condition. Yeah, I mean, this bad boy looks brand new. It's probably 25 years old. That's it for the sweaters. All right, so next up, we have the polos slash button-ups. Um, these made up basically a third of our pile. I just counted them. There's 14 of them. So let's start here. We picked up five of these. Again, new brand for us. This is our first time picking up the polos. Bonobos. Um, the shorts had a high sell-through rate. We found some polos. We found a stack of them. So we looked them up. Um, I believe they had a 100% sell-through rate or close to it. I mean, I believe so, or else I wouldn't have bought all five. But yeah, this one's pretty legit. Oh crap, I thought that was a brand logo for something else. I got scared for a second. We always find these like, or you always find these nice golf polos and they look perfect and there's nothing wrong with them. And then they have like a Time Warner cable logo on the arm. Not today though. That thing is nice. All right, next up. This one's super nice. Um, I honestly didn't look this up. I should have looked it up. Uh, I, I imagine Ruka sells pretty good or okay, but this colorway, I think I'm gonna get away with. We picked up, uh, no, just one, yeah, just one Ruka shirt. This thing is nice. What is this, extra large? Extra large, slim fit extra large. This thing is clean. I love the uh, colorway on this. It's like a YG vibes on this, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is our second Patagucci find, or second pickup again. We found three pieces, we left one. Boom, peep that. This is a large, so I'm definitely gonna try this on. It's like a um, seersucker material. I don't even know if I like that. I gotta try that on. It might be my first seersucker shirt right here. Uh, Travis Matthew, nice basic shirt. We sell these all day for, you know, 18 to 20 bucks. This one's clean, nice gray color. Boom, all right, first time picking this up. I'm sure I had looked this up before and I thought it wasn't good. Um, 
and then I heard my buddy, I heard a couple people talking about it, but I heard my buddy, again, Big Yumbo, I heard him talking about it, Peter Millar, he was super stoked to find a shirt. Um, and yeah, I feel like I see it all the time. So we found it again this time and we looked it up and I mean, it was good. I don't know what happened. I don't know if, if we messed up the sell through rate or we, we messed up um, when we had looked it up before. But yeah, I mean, I think we see Peter, Peter Millar pretty often and we are going to be picking it up. This is another Peter Millar we picked up. This one's nice, long sleeve white polo i remember this one clearly looking this one up this one had like a hundred percent sell through rate um at least all right now onto the stack of the ralph polo ralph lorenz first one this one's super nice again we see so much of this we're able to pick out the nicer ones um these have been doing better than like the same color ones the ones with like this different colored horse or like this one specifically this colored in like actual colored polo player um these have been doing really good for us <laughs> we picked up a couple of them one two this one's nice three that same pony that that one's been good to us and this one was cool we pick up the, the gnarly ones too boom orange with the green pony on the 100% linen, this thing's wicked. Yeah, I should be able to get 30 bucks for this one, honestly. Boom, size large. All right, and that is it for the polos and button ups. 14, 15 of them down, nice. All right, so I almost forgot my favorite item. I know I said the UCLA sweater is my favorite item, but the UCLA sweater was my second favorite item. Um, sheesh, first of all, let me pop this up. This was at the first Goodwill we went to. Yeah, we went to a Salvation Army, then we went to Goodwill. Um, knee with tags. Dude. I know the hundreds isn't like that. I mean, I'm not sure if people are that crazy about it or not. I, I like the hundreds brand a lot. Um, but dude, these are on their website for like a hundred bucks, stuff like this. Um, we found this. Again, we paid, you know, six bucks at the thrift store knee with tags it's a small but it's a really like big small it's like a medium or like a small large honestly um man i wish this was a medium or a large i would definitely keep this it's like this heavy duty uh like a work jacket ah, this thing is ridiculous man there's embroidery on there yeah this was my favorite piece for sure sheesh all right, thank God I didn't forget. I would have been, well, I wouldn't have been nothing. I would have recorded and I would have added it in here. Beautiful. All right, on to the last part. Um, this part's actually really, really cool too. All right, so we picked these off of a fresh rack. We picked one up just because of the pattern, okay? We picked it up, we were like, dang, that one's nice. The other three were kind of meh. Um, so we looked this up. We looked this one up. And we actually saw somebody selling one on eBay for like $30. And they had a screenshot of Levi's uh, selling one on the Levi's website in their vintage section for $88. This exact shirt. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys right now. But ran back to the rack. And I thought there was only one we had left behind. It was actually this one. This like the dingier of them all. This is the one we had left behind. Um, but I went back and looked. And we had actually missed one and two so we had four total um here i'll show you guys this thing's super nice um they're like a medium maybe i think i mean they're kind of cut i would say like a women's cut or i guess you could call it a european cut because these are from, made in portugal um i think the picture on levi's website had a dude in it yeah i mean this is a nice shirt i'll show them all off because they're nice they all have this like super nice like vintage feel and look to them um nice little pocket again i might try this one on this one might be a little bigger this might be a large um then we have the white yes yeah, so, i mean these might be 30 dollars t-shirts right here boys that would be dope last one yellow this one's kind of my favorite i don't have any yellow shirts <laughs> i have one yellow shirt boom sick all right and together with this levi stuff was this bad boy right here. 
Man. I got to I got I have no idea how to date this. I got to get some help. But I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Um I mean this paper tag is like the kind of paper tag you see on most vintage Levi's. There's a date that I can see here it says 89. Um but I I don't think it's that old. But I mean who knows? Maybe um here peep the buttons maybe you guys know. If anybody can help me date this. It's like a Levi's um, button-up, Levi's button-up shirt, I guess. Yeah, black denim button-up shirt. A little hole in the back. True vintage look is what I call it on eBay. So yeah, that was our vintage Levi haul. Um, I wish this was large. Definitely would be keeping this, but it's a little baggy. All right, let's end it. What do we got left? Just a couple items. All right, last two items. We don't do a lot of women's stuff, um, but there are some brands that are we, you know, we definitely know and we definitely pick up. So, Booba Millen, definitely picking that up. Easy to spot, obviously, with the logo. Sometimes the logo is a little low key, but it kind of shines. Yeah, you see it. You can kind of see it poking out in the stores. Okay, and this is actually we didn't look this up. We should look this up. Prana does uh, pretty good for us. Um, we thought this looked nice, so we just got it. This Prana dress. Yeah, we'll look it up, see what it, see what it goes for. But yeah, those were the, our two women's items for the day, and the last two items of our thrift haul. And that was it. Forty five items, uh, give or take. You know, we might have missed an item or two. I don't know. We have some stuff hanging around. Um, but yeah, forty five items, two hundred and twenty dollars spent. Comes out to about five dollars an item. And I mean, if we can average our sale per item, um, about $20 per item, we're looking at about $900, $900 in sales for the two twenty dollars we spent. Um, not bad at all. Our average sale per item on eBay right now is about $40 or like high 30s. So I think we'll definitely do a little bit better than that. Um, yeah, you know, we should be should be over $1,000 on this thrift haul. So not a bad day at all. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching to the end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave us a comment if there's something, you know, you saw something you liked. If there's anything that you're interested in, everything's for sale, let us know. Um, leave us a like if you liked the video. And if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe to the, uh, to the YouTube, subscribe to the Instagram, at Nothing New Thrifts. And we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.